Hey guys, we are Super Aiden Tab and today we decided to show you our new track together with Rox and Emery. Calm the storm, how we've been doing it. And yeah, welcome. Yeah, here we go. So. Yeah, maybe we listen first to you. track a little bit. Let's listen to a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Walking through the darkest night A hurricane is raging in your mind The violent winds of troubled times Rolling thunder and flashing lights You never saw it coming Now the void is rushing the track and how the track sounds so where should where, where should we start let's start with the intro bass line intro bass line so you mean this one here yes uh, so basically it's it's kind of pretty simple uh, so this time around we actually in this project we don't have lots of synths left it's more like a mixed project uh, so that otherwise our computer would have gone out of yeah <laughs> out of choose out of choose yeah so but basically the the, the main baseline is pretty simple uh, so we have few layers doing exactly the same thing here so his gnarly bass and he's a little bit more giving a little bit uh, like upper harmonics uh, this one yeah even more and then we have actual bass and one more layer from 
I think this is from Serum to give it a little bit movement as well. So there's a little bit filter, filter thing going on. So four, five layers, right? Uh, I, I can't count, but yeah, <laughs> maybe I count. Yeah. <laughs> but to make it a little bit more interesting, we added like uh, press hits. And some other small bits like like this kind of thing. And, and, and effect stuff or some effect stuff. And you will we will get a little bit more. Like small sounds coming in. So that's basically the bass. It's like I said, it's really simple in the beginning, so that it leaves more space for for other stuff. And because the the breakdown is kind of can I say ballad-like or something, so so it's it's quite soft. So we don't want to go too crazy before before the breakdown. And also. So the, what, then we have the trunks, which are really simple as well. So we wanted to keep it really simple, but it's working. Yeah, simple and um, not not filling it up too much with the with the with the, all the bits and pieces. So, and then we have here, we have open hunt, like basic 909, <laughs> super simple. Cool. Uh, oh my God. We need to go. There was filter, cut into baseline. Okay. So, in this part, we bring in Arpeggio. The sound is actually from, uh, it's in audio, but sound is from Purple Heads Europe. Same synth that we are using in, in a breakdown for the Arpeggio. That's a little bit API compressor, which is, sounds really warm. And it's a little bit EQ. Just a little, little bit of uh, higher mids and a little bit of delay, and then we work a little bit with the vocals, uh, kind of introduce so that we introduce the vocals before the breakdown and, and the actual vocals come in, and I think. some automation going on maybe no <laughs> <laughs> but can you solo the the vocals yeah nice oh yeah yeah the, uh, yeah there's automation for volume so that and there's also some filter thing going on maybe I have bounced it already the walk a little. Cool. Yeah. And even more box. Then mm -hmm. yeah. Then we coming to breakdown. And there's a de de de. Yeah. Those harmonies. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that was the intro baseline part. And now we're in a breakdown. Yeah. So 
maybe maybe we mute to vocals first so we can hear and same thing here uh what we did in the intro part super simple at this point we have only europe europa probably has europe souls from europa playing uh that's for our first logic compressor doing just a tiny bit to give it color give color and in this in this track we've been using uh ozone multiband a lot kind of tame to tame especially the the uh, low winds and and mid low mids also for the bass that works here as well so now we have only europe europe and um, silence pads going on so this way we, we were able to give as much as possible room for the for the vocals yeah so the vocals were pre-mixed but of course uh, when you start to work with the track you need to do some adjustments but we don't have that really anything on uh, uh, specific channel but we, we mixed all them together in a in a bus so this is vocal bus and here we have a lot of things going on can you just play this uh, solo again only the vocal only the vocal sure walking through the darkest night a hurricane is raging in your mind the violent winds of trouble maybe we, maybe we play it a little bit louder Walking through the darkest night A hurricane is raging in your mind The violent winds of troubled times Rolling thunder and flashing lights Yeah, so you never saw it Like I you, Like I said, uh, yeah, yeah, so A lot of small things going on So we're using uh, a dynamic mode uh, from Fab Filter Pro Q3, which is prob probably the best sounding uh, EQ. Yeah. We use it a lot. So, and I don't know anyone who doesn't use it actually a lot. <laughs> yeah, if you need an EQ, that's the goal. Yeah. So next, next we have a uh, yeah, classic 1176, uh, classic for vocals. It's great. Uh, a little bit by IP, API, uh, which is expired at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting a little bit of mids to make the vocal a little bit uh, pop out from the mix. So those are UAD plugins. Yeah, UAD. Yeah. Then, then we go to Locking Alliance Top. Uh, we really love this compressor. Uh, it works for everything. Uh, also for like uh, like bass sounds and stuff like that. Uh, quite often, some compressors they they take out away bass, but this doesn't do it that much. Yeah. Maybe you lower the vocal volume a little bit because okay. yeah, might. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and uh, like I said, we use uh, also multiband in this project a lot. But it's just tiny things here and there. It's really, should I say, transparent or something? It doesn't color that much. A little bit more uh, taking those, um, how you call them? Like peaks, yeah, peaks and that, that sort of stuff away. Um, this is nice. This is really nice sounding EQ. You are a plugin, but you can get it uh, from um, uh, Softube. 
uh, as, a, as a native as well. And because there's a lot of processing, uh, it, it brings the SS up, so we are using two uh, DSRs uh, to work for a little bit different parts. And okay, I can't go to. We have already some delays and reverbs bounced down, but then we also added uh, a little bit uh, a couple of delays as well. Can you show it? That's yeah, just really basic. It just brings a little bit warmth and and fills it, fills it nicely without masking the vocal. Yeah, that's the vocal, the vocal stuff. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think we pretty much showed uh, the breakdown already because it's it's really simple. It's a from now on. It's basically build up, bring into some synths, and then the drop. Yeah. So. Nothing too crazy going on here. Some uh, trumps, snare, snares, uh, and uh, risers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Uh, trumps are in the drop are almost the same than in the, in the intro. Yeah. yeah. So. So, oh, damn it! <laughs> so this this is this is basically the same. Then in intro, then there's a little bit. Tom's doing a little bit cruel, uh, and we have a couple of loops. Same open hat than in intro. And then here we have right on the beat. Just to clue the crew a little bit together. Can you put the volume I now? So. I think oh, there's a snare as well. <laughs> okay, so let's listen to the drums a little bit. top of trumps uh, we're using same bass sound sound than in intro uh, not all the layers and I, uh, yeah I, it has been mixed on the different different track for some reason maybe it needed a little bit different kind of mixing or something uh, yeah, so there's the yeah, OTT on it. Yeah, so basically, we we have also on here as well on the bass. So it's doing this much. 
just taming it, taming it a little bit because there's a there's quite a quite a lot of attack to it. So I I think that's the one of the reasons. And OTT probably yeah it's 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 only ten person. It's not much either. So it just brings it a little bit more prominent. I think. And yeah. That's the base layers. Uh now I can't remember. We have bounce all the all the reef sound as one. I think we have like three layers. Uh one from Aventure, most likely. Uh, and serum and and silent silent yeah yeah so uh, because uh, we have lift I, I, I remember we have uh, lifted highs uh, on master so that's why we, we're taking taking the high highest uh, frequencies a little bit down so it doesn't get too bright. Uh, yeah, just small boost here and there. Again also doing small work here and there. It also helps uh, master channel, you know, when there's uh, you take the peaks away and stuff. So you can you can boost it a little bit harder in master. This is great EQ. Uh, we just dis discovered this like I don't know two months ago. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, really loving it. So this this one is doing cutting, uh, and another one is uh, boosting. So basically in the same area, but we have boost with the, with the, with the wider wider Q, and then we have cut it with the uh, with the with the tighter Q. Mm. Yeah. Oh, now we have channel here. It's and it's also taking down the highs. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this is interesting. <laughs> There's lots of going on on the on the on the river bus. So first uh, we have EQ sound going into the uh, river and thanks for thanks for my own my own uh, hinted us about this uh, I never heard about it before Walter space from um, what, what, what was the company called uh, uh, tone two yeah That's tone two yeah it sounds nice it, it sounds different we, we've been using a lot of uh, art verbs is it art verb yeah uh, art uh, acoustics, art acoustics, yeah, uh, reverb uh, for leads. But this is nice addition to our selection of reverbs. It's it's a uh, it's great for trance. So no idea what uh, this is doing. Nothing. Just for looks. Just for looks. <laughs> yeah, so, just for so, just for shitty sound. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then we have uh, then we compress it a little bit, uh, and next one even more. Uh, yeah, and finally we have a uh, uh, side chain. Now the side chain is not uh, triggered. I don't know where the side chain channel, channel is. So basically, what it does, it pulls down the. Let me see, last time. Yeah, something should be going to bust in, and it should trigger the side chain. So when it, when the swing plays, it takes the reverb down, and then when you play the. Oh yeah, it's not going. No. no.
Yeah. Yeah. So that's the that's the lead uh, and the reverb. So that's basically it. It's then we're coming to the second second breakdown with the vocals. What is it? The breakdown or C part or whatever. Why there's a there is now filter on baseline. There shouldn't be. I need to play. Stupid logic doesn't understand. <laughs> oh, this is annoying. This is logic feature from from the beginning. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Thing is here. Yeah. So that's pretty much what it is. In a in a second breakdown, we actually bring the bats straight from the start to make it a little bit different, so that they are not exactly the same. So it's more euphoric. Then we have build up back to the back to the drop again, and there's a it's like double. It's two two times uh, longer. Yeah, two cycles or yeah. Five. So uh, on the on the second half, we actually transy up the <laughs> the riff a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here, here we go, as in the first drop. A trans here, sure. Kind of like so. It's it's really small change but it makes quite a big difference so that's basically it uh, only thing left is master bus yeah yeah so in master bus <laughs> So here, uh, first we are taking out uh, some low frequencies, uh, so it's easier for compressors and limiters to work work with it. Uh, we have also because there's a quite a lot highs in in quite a lot highs in uh, lead synth. So we have actually um, cut out side channels from super highs. That makes it a little bit uh, more controlled, should I say, or something. It doesn't feel that there's so so much movement on the on the side. So, and it kind of like get you the focus better on the on the center. Yeah, center. Uh, and this one we're using. Uh, this one to clue things up. 
uh, Elysia Impressor. It gives nice punch for the for the kick drum. Uh, and this one may, was magic for this track. Yeah. Again, it's not doing much, but it does something. I don't know what, but without it, it, it just it doesn't work. I oh, think we bit. named named one track after that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. When we bought it, yes. Uh, a little bit more cool. Uh, Mix is somewhere around 75, and it's just a little bit. It gives a little bit more warmth to it. Yeah. Uh, this 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 sounds nice. So I think yeah, you can hear that we have lifted uh, 10k uh, half dB, and I think we did cut that half dB from the leads with this. Yeah. Limiter, Fat Filter Pro L2. Doing it, it's magic. And oversampling is now 2x because we want to run this probe. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> when we bounce it, of course, it's more. Yeah, we usually use like 16. Yeah. Uh, this is this is usually our main limiter. In this project, we still added uh, also also there because it in in this in this mode it gives a little bit nice attack the sounds and a little bit uh, like a little bit more pristine iron. So it's it's there more for flavor than for limiting, to be honest. But Sometimes these things work, sometimes not. So this time it, it was just the right thing to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, let's have a listen. You never saw it coming. Now the void is rushing. Thanks guys. Keep the 